Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode I'm going to show you exactly how you can get as many Kubfu or Urshifu as you would like in one copy of Pokemon Sword or Shield. <laughs> So with the release of the Isle of Armor, we got a bunch of new Pokemon, new features to play through, and the marquee Pokemon probably of these DLCs is that new Pokemon Kubfu and its evolution forms Urshifu, the fighting water type and the fighting dark type. Unfortunately, the kicker about the DLC is if you've only got one copy of Pokemon Sword or one copy of Pokemon Shield, you're not going to be able to get the other form of Urshifu uh, or another Kubfu unless you have a very generous friend who would trade with you um, which is a little bit sad because you know you want to have each form to complete your collection you don't need it for the pokedex but obviously if you're a competitive player you want to have as many options as possible so to get more Kubfu in the games, you would generally have to buy a copy of Sword and then the DLC expansion pass, but there is a way around that. And I'm gonna show you within this, this guide today how you can do that with just one copy of the game and get as many Kubfus as you want. So to begin with, you can see we're on our home menu. You wanna come down to system settings. Now, when you're in system settings, you wanna come down to users and then just add a new user. So as you can see here, create new user. Choose your icon, whichever one you want. We're going with Gandalf uh, in our one and just create a nickname. It doesn't really matter for this example unless you want to have um, a serious uh, another user on your account. I'm literally doing this for this example and I will be deleting this user once I have obtained Kubfu. So there we go. Once you're at this screen, don't sign in or link account. Just say you'll do that later. Uh, once your account, your new account has been set up, you want to just come out of this menu screen back into your home menu and then start uh, your Pokemon Shield under this new user that you've just created. So you'll go into the game and this will start a brand new save file for your Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield game. It will work exactly the same on either copy. So you want to just start again, go through all the kind of bits and bobs that you need to do to set yourself up with your trainer, your your name, your avatar, and all of that. And once you have done that, you can then start the, probably gonna be the most grindy part of this uh, process. Um, obviously playing through the game, you get your bag. One tip I will say for you to start with is once you've got access to your menu screen, uh, or option screen in game, what you wanna do is just go straight into it. Make sure that your text is turned to fast. This will speed things up for you. Um, you also want to take battle effects off. This will just make things a little bit quicker for you. And um, there is one more and give nicknames. Take that off in case you get given any Pokemon or you catch any Pokemon through this process. You wanna make sure that those three things are knocked to off. And that'll just speed things up for you a little bit. So you wanna just constantly just mashing it as much as you can getting through. Obviously meeting Leon, get your starter Pokemon. Uh, I chose Sobble because I feel like Sobble is probably a little bit better match than the other two for the early stages of the game to help you get through it. Get the Zacian, then you get your Pokedex from uh, Sonya. And then here we go. We're at the wild area now. This is all you need to do. You just need to get to the wild area of the game. And then you are set to head on your way to the Isle of Armor. So once you're here, once Sonya shows you the wild area, you don't even need to go into it. Just turn straight around, go back into the station in the wild area. And this will take you straight back to... And where are we going? Uh, Wedgehurst. Wedgehurst Station is where. This is a course I should know this. So as soon as you come back to Wedgehurst, you'll get the kind of... Um the DLC kind of teaser trailer with the Galarian Slowpoke here uh, and that'll play out and they'll, you'll have to catch the Slowpoke. Unfortunately, you can't beat it, so don't just expect to beat this Pokemon and then it, it disappear. You actually need to capture the Slowpoke. Once you've done that, you can speak to this train um, guard here and he will then say you've got the island isle of armor pass you've obviously got to have the isle of armor pass to do this whole method so hopefully you have you'll um you'll get the you'll get the train to another location then you'll fly over to the isle of armor so here we are so we're about 20 30 minutes into the game and we're already at the isle of armor so that's ideal so the next step what we need to do is obviously come out okay we battle clara uh here you once you beat her 
the next step is to obviously make your way to the dojo and once you're at the dojo then you can go inside and the next step is obviously everyone knows is complete the three trials so you need to obviously catch the galarian slow pokes you need to get the max mushrooms and then you need to beat clara in a one-on-one -on -one match before you're able to get kubfu now getting this slow bros is a little bit tricky because normally you would have your bike at this stage and you don't have it doing this method so you just need to watch where the slow pokes are kind of going in a circle and make sure you stand in their path and they'll kind of just run into you so you don't need to chase them around with your bike as you can see i'm just getting myself positioned uh, in the different areas where Slowpoke has its kind of cycle path. So you want to just do this a similar sort of thing if you haven't got your bike here, which I'm assuming you won't have at this point, if you're doing this quick method and just kind of dive on the Slowpoke. So just stand in their way when they come about. And there is only three of them, so it shouldn't take you too long. I think the longest part of this whole this three trial part is obviously the the running about not having access to the the COVID night ride so you can't just fly back to the dojo at every point you have to kind of complete and then run back and then back and forth so you're back and forth a lot of times but once you've got the slow bros like i said the next step is getting those max mushrooms it's pretty easy to get uh, and then you battle clara here and once you beat clara you are going to be given your kubfu which is exactly what you need and i think honestly uh, this took me a little longer than what it probably should have done um i think you can probably do this in about an hour and that is pretty good timing obviously you can use this method to get other exclusive um pokemon like zacian zamazenta whatever you would like um but for this method obviously we want kubfu because it is a new pokemon and it does have those two forms that you can use legally uh on the ranked battle at the minute so once you've done that you save your game you got your kubfu you want to come back into pokemon home but you go into pokemon home under your original username okay and then once you're there you go up to the top you change to a different save file and you come back into pokemon home uh using your your new save file there grab kubfu out of your box put it in pokemon home save exit and then come back into Pokemon Home under your original user, under your original game, and then you'll be able to uh, to grab Kubfu and put it into your new game. So you can see here, I'm just changing to my original account, my main account here, and uh, we'll go into Pokemon Home. Kubfu sitting nicely tucked up in Pokemon Home here for us just to grab, put into our main game, and uh, that is literally it. That is literally it. That is how quick this is. And once you've done that and it's all transferred over, you can then come back into your original game and uh, you will be able to see that you've got your kubfu right there so it's ideal really for us and uh, as you can see i've already because i've got a copy of uh shield as well as sword so i've already got both forms but it's nice to have the option to have different variants different builds of these without having to change the the current two that i've got all the time so i'm probably going to use this method a couple of times um just to get a few more cub foods because i feel like it's so easy to do um and what you can do is delete the user that you've just added and kind of just start the process all over again if you would like to or if you've got a copy of shield you can do the same on that run through it it doesn't take any time at all to get cub foo and uh, hopefully this method is very useful and kind of if you weren't aware of it is helpful for you to get more cub foos and definitely getting that other urshifu form if you haven't got another copy of the game so um that about wraps it up my friends i hope you have found this guide useful uh, i've definitely found this method useful um and obviously just for competitive purposes it's really nice to be able to have just different options I can pick up and throw into a team if I need to rather than having to EV or change uh, natures with mints and things like that and it just gets so complicated so because it's on a Pokemon we can breed this is the best next best thing to do for us and uh, like I say I hope you found it useful if you have please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you're new for more guides like this we do a bunch of Pokemon content as well as competitive play as well so um yes that about wraps it up thanks so much for tuning in my friends i hope you all have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves be kind to each other and i'll uh, i'll hopefully see you all for another episode on the channel very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye